All right, Gary is in from Ameripolish today, okay? Ameripolish is a very highly specified product on the marketplace. They've done a good job of marketing their product line. Um, and we've supported them since day one of Extreme Polishing Systems, and they've done equally well as far as support goes. And he's got some new products today that I'm going to give the floor to Gary on. And you can tell us about them, why somebody would want to buy this product, or why they want to sell it to their customer. Um, and then we'll go over what the list price is on the product, okay. and, then, um, and then what our cost is. Okay. okay, sounds good. All right, well, we uh, actually came out with a new densifier and a new stain protection. Uh, reason why we did this, uh, better chemical resistance, um, and one thing, with our old dense fire, uh, people, I guess it, it's in the big minds of everybody, they actually want to see dense fire work. To me, seeing dense fire work, you really can't see it work, but they're always uh, wanting the concrete to darken up. So we actually came out with a new dense fire that's better resistant and also darkens the concrete up. Um, we have two dense fires, it's called 3D HS, 3D HSL. And what that stands for is a hybrid silicon. So it's not a lithium, it's not a potassium, not a sodium, it's a hybrid silicon, densifier. The HS stands for you know high, uh, higher solids for uh, more of a porosity floor, polished concrete, soft concrete. So it actually goes in with the high solid content and hardens up the surface better. The HSL is for a low porosity floor. Uh, what that is designed for, uh, you guys get a lot of calls on Walmart specs, products, uh, uh, designed and specced into there. Well, they actually started specking our new uh, 3D densifier along with our SR SR2 uh, stain protection. So the HSL is designed for a hybrid polished uh, concrete or high-speed burnished concrete or a power trial finish. So if they 28 days later, they power trial 28 days later, you uh, densify it and then you high-speed burnish it, pop a little bit of shine. But that's all they want for like an industrial floor. So it's a cheap version. But it is in Walmart spec, so you guys will be getting calls on it. And then the SR2 uh, we brought out, uh, one of the things that I do not like about guard products, uh, stain protection stuff, our stain protection is very good with our system, designed for our system. But the one number one problem with it is uh, it leaves a film on the surface yeah, yeah. and it gives you a false, sh uh, false shine. So when your uh, contractors out there, it's specced into a job where you got to hit, let's just say, a 60 on a gloss meter. And uh, for some reason, they can't make the concrete shine or they're cutting steps to polish the concrete. And they can only get it to, say, a 40. Well, they rely on the guard, putting that on it. High speed burnish it, pop a 20. So they're at 60, 65, 70 now. And then a month later, you guys are going to get a call saying, hey, the floor's not keeping up. It's dulled out on us. And then you guys call me up, and then we just get it back and forth match, you know. But that's what my product's designed to do. It's, for, it's, it's designed to wear off. So guys are cheating the system, cheating the gloss meters. Uh, some floors just not capable of polishing, but they use the guard. So long story short is it wears away. Your floor's not shining no more. Customer's mad calls you guys, he's mad because the product didn't hold up, and then you call me because the product, you know, it's just a long ball. So we designed the Sherlock, or the SR2 is a full penetrating stain protection. Does not leave a film on the surface and does not add sheen to the floor. So the polished concrete is back to looking like natural polished concrete, not plastic. And also start, it's a water repellency, oil repellency. I've actually just seen the stuff um, repel uh, Skydrol oil. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. With what? Skydrol, airplane uh, oil. Yeah. It actually repelled that for some time too. But like anything, anything's going to penetrate concrete. There's nothing out there that's 100% blockage. So, and we're just going to kind of demo that over there, just kind of see how easy it goes down. Um, one thing about the SR2, you do not have to high speed burnish it like anything else. Uh, our stain protection, you don't have to burnish it, but it does add to it. The SR2, fully penetrating, does not burnish it. The, the big thing that everybody needs to understand and you need to start to promote to the customers is that the customers don't want to have waxed floors, okay? And that's what all these sealers 
protectors and guards have in them is an acrylic, like he said, plastic. A plastic look. You know what I'm saying? That plastic floor walks away weeks after that floor is done, okay, and then what you're left with is an unhappy customer that, that, that he wants that look back, okay? Well, if he wanted a wax floor, why do you go through all the steps to polish it to just put wax on it? You can polish an existing concrete substrate with wax, yep. you know, saying, and not have to go through all the processes or to spend all that money, but it's going to become a slip hazard. It's going to be a host um, viruses, bacteria, and, and things. And that's well, it's more susceptible to staining at that point. Yeah, definitely, because the product will stay. But the, the, the wax is not good for a floor, and that's why not only has a mirror polish come out with this product now, they're one of the front runners, yep. you know what I'm saying, and you have the new the Extreme 2 also, you know what I'm saying, that we've been educating people on. So the, the, the marketplace is going away from acrylics, going away from these waxes, okay, and please let the customers know that, okay, so that they can be the first in their area to offer it. That's the, the, the big thing is be the first on the bandwagon because that's what you're going to get known for. So promote this product to your customers, okay? And we're going to go outside and we're going to do a demonstration. So what we have here is SR2, the 3DHS. Uh, the labels are going to change. These are just my demo uh, bottles. But I just kind of want to touch base with you. Uh, our densifier now, our stain protection now comes, uh, you have to mix it one to one with water. This, all this comes is ready to use now. So you guys just sell it ready to use. SR2, we sell it in one gallons, we sell it in five gallons, 30 gallon totes, where uh, barrels, 55 gallon barrels, and 250 gallon totes. The 3D dense fire, the lowest number that we have is a five gallon pail. So anything over a five gallon pail, we, don't, we do not sell it one gallon. The way we feel, you know, not every job is going to be one gallon dense fire. It's always going to be more than one gallon of dense fire, so we're selling as fives. Uh, the SR2, the square footage on it is 3,000 uh, square feet still, uh, 3 to 3,500 square foot, and the dense fire is 6 to 800 square foot per gallon. So, yeah. so it's either 3,000 to 3,500 square feet? 3, 500, yes, 3,500 3, per gallon. Uh, recommend two coats. If the first coat is uh, heavy enough on it, the second coat will actually repel itself off. So I recommend two uh, thin coats on the floor to get your 100% coverage. This stuff you want to keep wet uh, for about 20 minutes. This is a 3D dense fire. And this makes the and this makes the concrete darker. This will make it a darker gray. Yes. Another thing about our Sherlock stain protection, we focus on it, on the stuff to actually get into the surface. And everybody was complaining because it was penetrating too deep. And with dense fire, if you go too deep, you're still going to uh, knock it hard enough and not get rid of uh, the little surface uh, scratches from your diamonds. We were actually blowing uh, with our dense fire through that or um, underneath those uh, scratches. So they actually want the stuff to sit more at the surface. Longer dry time and darkening of the concrete. Alright, this is the SR2. This is the SR2 here. SR2 uh, sold in concentrate? No. Everything's ready to use. Our new line is ready to use. Uh, one thing with this sprayer, for demo purpose, we're going to use this little sprayer. We really want a uh, comb tip, a real fine tip, because we're just real thin. The SR2. 
dry and then come back and put another application on it. This is another one of the products. It doesn't have acrylic. Uh, there's going to be no streaking in it. Uh, a lot of the other guard products out there, you put it on too heavy, uh, it starts tacking up really quick on you, kicking off. It's going to start streaking on you. You can't stop and start in different places, even though we don't recommend it in the first place. But if I have to, you know, come out here, then I, over there I see I got to fix the area. You're not going to see where you come back and fix it. Nice. It'll all blend together. It'll all blend together. Uh, another good thing is uh, with this uh, stain protection or the SR2, you're not going to have whitening out. Uh, a lot of guard products out there on the market has a dense fire in it. That dense fire is what whites out when you get it wet too quick. Um, and that's why most of the guard products, you have to uh, high speed burn it to get it 98 degrees. They tell you all the time, you put it down, high speed burn it to get it to a certain temperature, you're kickstarting the acrylic, you're kickstarting the dense fire in it for it to cure out. Ready for another? I'm ready for another it, it cleans it up. Sometimes, you know, if you got a lot of dust on the floor, right. it'll leave it a, a, a little dull appearance. So if you do uh, high speed emergency, you're removing that, but it's not going to help a whole lot with your sheet. If it does, it's maybe a real minute, you know, five point tiny gloss meter, if that. And that that's just because you're diamonds on your machine or on your uh, high speed emergency. You just considered it topical? No, this is all penetrating. Okay. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys stopped by my booth and rolled the concrete this year. We actually did a, a gray slab, um, little, I want to say it was like a four by four slab or a three by three slab. And we actually had a, a, a artist come by. Like, well, let's let's have him draw something. So we taped it all off blue tape. And he drew the Arkansas Razorback uh, logo. And then he hand cut it out, just freehanded. And then what we did was took the SR2, sprayed it, and then peeled the tape off, and then just put our slab out there, you know, uh, propped it up. So when everybody walked by, there was nothing on it. Then I took a bottle of water, dumped it on it, and then that's when you can see the Razorback come off of it. Oh, wow. So. <laughs> um, so, so this is not a high solids. This is a very low viscous, uh, low solids? Yes. So as soon as that dries, we'll just throw some water on it. That's pretty much my demo right now. So, I mean, just kind of beats up and it's still wet. All right, everybody, give your a hand of applause. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, uh, no. It won't re-emulsify for that much time. It's yep. uh, short of time. That's yeah, I mean, it's still dry. We put the dense fire down pretty heavy and we got on it really quick. So it's actually repelling. Yeah, but this, uh, area, notice, this area we didn't do any dense fire. Right. You notice over here where we didn't do the dense fire, right over there too, yeah. it's actually uh, drying out quicker opposed to the dense fire. We're still kind of, you know, curing out or wet. Right, so we'll gel. What? The streakiness is, is, is just part of the drying? Just part of the drying process, okay. yeah. But it, it'll it'll disappear, it'll completely uh, uh -huh. go away. Okay. Yep. All right, well, thanks a lot, Gary. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, guys.